Right, this story about the goalpost gets even more bonkers. Uh, thank you, David Getter, and, and see you, by the way. Titanium. Uh, someone's messaged in 3978. Hey, Vern, it's on YouTube. Have a butchers. They use an angle grinder, not a saw. You see, because I remember football goalposts uh, from the 70s and the early 80s when they were made out of wood. Now I guess they're made out of metal. Yeah. And if you've got an extra two inches and they need to come down a little bit, then an angle grinder is the thing that you need. I mean, what is going on? On BBC iPlayer. Singing has been scientifically proven to help memory, mood and speech. I'll still be feeling good for a whole week after it. But music therapy is available to less than half of those living with dementia in the UK. It's fantastic. My mum comes alive. I just feel like I've got my mum back. We're raising our voices again to get the message out there. We've been given some help to release our own single. Our Dementia Choir sings again with Vicky McClure. Watch tonight on BBC iPlayer. It's good that I saw it last week. It's really good. Vicky McClure, uh, BBC One, tonight, 9pm, our Dementia Choir. All right, Richie. Yes. Not all right in Glasgow, though, because it's very oh. busy, so that was a really rubbish transition. The M77, <laughs> the North Band. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's, let's rewind. <laughs> And start again. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. We won't have none of that. I've edited myself a couple of times so far this show. Okay. We started at 6.30 and not blame the lattes. Right, here we go. Uh, so our Dementia Quiet with Vicky McClure is on BBC One tonight at 9pm. Let's get the travel with Richie. Thank you, Vernon. We're going to start in Glasgow. <laughs> what was that? In Glasgow. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Are you, try- are you trying to put together a show reel? Have you been pushed by Global or something? Oh, I've got to do some links. I've got to do some posh links. Maybe sound right proper. What was that? Thank you, Bert. <laughs> what? That's like the old school BBC. Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the BBC. Here's your travel with Richie Anderson. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Let's start again proper. Sorry. Right, OK. Uh, <clears throat> So, our Dementia Choir tonight with Vicky McClure, BBC 9 pm. It's good that. Right, let's get the travel with Richie. Cheers, Vern. We're going to start in Glasgow hey! on the M77. Third time lucky. Uh, the northbound side, we've got one lane out. So that's at junction two. That's because of a broken down lorry, but also the fuel spinach. So cues for that one are back to junction four. It's a 20 minute way. Hazel's been on, on the M6 South. Uh, very slow at the moment between 21A and 21. That's because of an accident. Uh, M6 in the West Midlands, northbound side, one lane out between nine for Wensbury and 10 for Wolverhampton. There's been an accident. Two lanes are out on the M1 North just after 11A. The M25 clockwise. Nathan's been on, uh, where it's closed between 31 and 1A. That's because of a police incident. Anti-clockwise, two lanes out between 26 and 25, and then two lanes shut between 1A and 31. And in Chichester, the A27, the westbound side, closed because of an accident at Fishbourne Roundabout. Vernon, you're up to date. Thanks, Richie. Uh, let's clip that up. Lovely. For his show reel <laughs> when he moves on to greater pastures, greener pastures. Uh, here's a, here's a, it's a conundrum. Right, this goalpost thing, Hull mm. City, Birmingham City, right? They're going against each other and the goalposts are too high. Yes. So they chop the ends off two inches to make them uh, the legitimate uh, height. Jennifer's been on. Mm. Vernon, why didn't they just make the hole two inches deeper? Mm. Jennifer, you're a genius. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a good point. It's a really good point. Yeah, I don't, I, yeah. Oh, it's blown my mind. <laughs> I tell you what, live radio is really not good for me on a Monday morning. I'm all over the place. Listen, baby.